and we teach him. So that's the skill. So I told him, uh, so naturally, uh, people have more interest in uh, science and technology. And with that, more materialist sort of a very The whole sort of essence of civilization, very much the materialistic sort of way of life, materialistic way of thinking. The whole education also developed that way. So that's why now uh, existing education system is something lacking. So, but later part of the 20th century, uh, I think two fields. One field, the people who have everything about material facilities. But through their own experience, now they begin to feel limitation of the material value. Then they gradually, now for example in China, many rich families also showing interest about spirituality, religious spirituality, like Christianity, and then mainly Muslim. So material facility, everything there, but not yet so satisfied. In fact, becoming more richer, more wealthier, more suspicious, more greed. I think these, I think seriously, do, those people who seriously are seriously involved in corruption, I think more richer family. <laughs> Poor people, maybe, some corruptions, but very limited, <laughs> not much serious. So therefore, uh, you know now, uh, the, uh, those people who eventually now gain some experience, now material value alone will not bring inner peace or satisfactory sort of family or satisfactory life. Then another sort of thing, among the scientists, uh, I think medical scientist and brain scientist. Now, in both fields, now, the last, uh, I think, a uh, few decades, now they begin to feel for good health, for preventive measure, calm mind is very essential. Uh, so, here involve emotions. So, they pay more attention about our mind, about our emotions. Then brain specialist, their research now really reach deeper, deeper, deeper. How they pay more attention the relation brain and mind. Now they begin to feel there is uh, one phenomenon we call mind. Actually, effect on our brain. Some new finding. So, because of these two fields, now today, beginning of this 21st century, among the scientists, more and more scientists, showing interest uh, and carry more serious research about our mind, about our emotion how to tackle these uh, emotions. Then many uh, social workers and many sort of uh, I say, uh, scholars also now take conclusion. Some mental or some sort of crisis among the youth, including suicide or lonely feeling or crimes, uh, these are due to lack of affection, compassion in the family, in the society. So many of them are really uh, express how we really need some proper way to educate, uh, to, 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 uh, from kindergarten, uh, all of their sort of education system, education field. So these are uh, 
now signs of changing. So it is now some change. One very quick question, then we'll take some questions from the audience. You just talked about compassion. In the Western world, compassion is often viewed as a sign of weakness. Um, is compassion a sign of weakness or a sign of strength? No, certainly. Absolutely wrong song, as a conception of it. Uh, actually, uh, I think opposite. And aggressiveness. Proud. Practical. Right. These are actually signs of weakness. I think, I think for example, you say some conversation between us. My point becomes a little weaker. Then I may lose anger. <laughs> uh, my point, still plenty of reasons. Uh, I have more sort of say, as of that. Uh, as of that. Uh, I mean, more, with more confidence, there is no room development of anger, fear, like that. Uh, and more patience. So, therefore, Compassion, patience, forgiveness. These are actually sign of inner strength, not sign of weakness. That's very clear. I, I think, I think, I think everyone has I think they, I think they uh, experiences when you are uh, sort of home with your neighbor when you talk at a certain point you have plenty of reasons then you say your attitude always will be peaceful when you face danger of defeating uh, defeat your viewpoint then sometimes feel a little anger and I think you may say oh I'll stop here yeah? Goodbye. <laughs> and then, then leave. You see, no longer willingness of conversation. That also is a habit, isn't it? So, all these uh, uh, negative emotion actually comes for defending yourself. So, so you see, the anger brings some energy. Defend yourself. Compassion beyond that. You see, from friendly sort of attitude to us, bring more. So, compassion is the science of strength. And aggressiveness, violence is science of weakness. What do you think? Do you agree? You study more. You analyze more. Some questions from the audience. We have a couple of microphones. 